FEMA workers are going door to door in hard hit areas around North Carolina, but some storm victims in Spring Lake wondered why the federal agency didn't set up shop in their community where they had water from Hurricane Florence just taking over the town. CBS 17's Sheena Elsey is live tonight working to get those answers. Sheena. Well, we're on Brinkley Road, and on this street alone, there are at least 10 houses that look like this. Debris stacked up almost taller than I am in front of just about everyone's curves in this area. But there's another problem, getting to the help to pay for this mess. For more than 20 years, this was home for Cliff Hall. Then it hit. To be affected this kind of way is a kind of a... It's, it's disturbing. Florence left more than five feet of water inside. This is the water line here where the water stopped. Everything was destroyed. Most of his house is now sitting on the curve while he's trying to figure out what to do next. FEMA is offering help. Uh, we just don't know where we stand at the time financially with them. And he's not alone. He's one of 10 in this neighborhood and dozens in the Spring Lake area who now have nothing. It's the reason the town's mayor says FEMA should come to them. We have some people who uh, can't get around uh, the, the lack of transportation. FEMA set up shop in Fayetteville, close to 30 minutes away from Spring Lake. We have computers and we have office space that they can use. I mean, you know, I, I don't know why they chose to do what they did. A FEMA representative tells me they're planning to send FEMA workers to the town to see how they can help but are keeping the mobile office in Fayetteville. So Spring Lake's mayor went to county leaders, and so did we. Is there anything that the county can do on top of that, or is it all? Well, the county is, one, we're giving out the information. We're getting them to FEMA. We have uh, their HUD funds that uh, are low income that we're dealing with. An effort to try and help people left with nothing. Now, Spring Lake City leaders are having a meeting tonight, and I'm told FEMA representatives will be there to talk about more ways to help. Live in Spring Lake, Sheena Elsie, CBS 17 News.